While the NFL has yet to confirm its setup for the draft in Green Bay, local businesses are keeping a close eye on how things are operating in Detroit in preparation for 2025. And as we've reported, some have sent representatives to Detroit this week to check things out and maybe do a little research. Fox 11's Emily Matesk is joining us live from the Stadium District now. And Emily, what have you found out? Yeah, Mark and Michelle, it's a little quiet here in the stadium district, but this time next year when the NFL draft is in town, it's expected to be game day times at least two businesses in the area preparing for how to deal with the influx of people. The NFL draft in Green Bay may be a little more than a year away. It's super exciting. It's nerve wracking too. And with draft festivities getting underway in Detroit, you can bet Green Bay and Brown County businesses are paying attention. I'm watching it very close and a lot of my local area customers are actually in Detroit trying to figure out and come up with their game plan and they'll be coming back on Monday and we'll start planning. Companies like Green Bay Exposition Services, which supplies tents, tables, chairs, and other event space equipment, expects to be busy leading up to and during the draft. All these, the corporate companies that work closely with the NFL will be having their own VIP areas throughout the whole, you know, bank, all the banquet facilities throughout Green Bay. So it's not only tents, it's, you know, inside the the local hotels and banquet facilities, restaurants, they'll all be needing to rent equipment. Fox 11 has learned the NFL has a hold on the majority of hotel rooms in and around the immediate Green Bay and Brown County areas for the draft. We're contracted through the NFL. Um, you know, they'll let us know who we have and, and we'll embrace them and, and welcome them in. Um, so I'm not sure when I'll exactly know who we're gonna get. Banquet halls and event spaces are on hold too. Places like Stadium View haven't heard from the NFL on specific events, but they've blacked out the week before and weekend of the draft, not knowing if they'll end up hosting private events. It's all still kind of been like, hush, hush, don't book anything, don't do anything yet, and just kind of see what all comes about. While a lot of the draft prep talk is focused on hotel space and the NFL needs, Green Bay businesses know the draft is for the fans, and they'll be ready for that too. I would love to make sure that the public can still come here like a normal game day. That's what we're used to. Yeah, and the folks that I spoke with today said they've been working on their plans for several months, if not since last year, but they expect to learn a lot more when those scouts come back from Detroit, and they say that early next week, things will really start to kick into gear with their planning for 2025. Reporting live in the Stadium District, Emily Matesic, Fox 11 News. So is this like the quiet before the storm of next year? What, I mean, how closely are you watching what's happening? Yes, so we're following up on the draft. Um, Fortunately, we have a bunch of people from the area kind of checking it out. Um, next year will be a big stage for us, and we're just hoping we can deliver everything we, we know we can for the NFL and all the fans. What has, I guess, what planning has gone in? Or, like, I mean, there's rumors that, like, every hotel room in, you know, the greater Green Bay area is, is like, already on hold for the NFL. I mean, is that true? What? Um, sure, yeah. So the NFL, um, the, the, the community's been working on a draft for quite a few years now. Um, we finally got this one, um, but most of the hotels in Green Bay will be NFL used hotels, but there are still some rooms left. So if people are looking to come in, check Green Bay first, of course, and then kind of work down to Oshkosh and Milwaukee and everything for that. But are, th are even your rates out yet for hotels? Uh, generally, it'll drop one year prior to the date. So most hotel operations, th their system will show up one year out. So it'll be coming pretty soon. Okay. So, the, I mean, well, the NFL sort of has like a hold on these rooms. You anticipate them using Correct. the majority of them, I guess. Or what's the... Yeah, the NFL has a ton of rooms in Green Bay, but there are going to be some properties that don't have rooms picked up by the NFL. So we, if people are looking for rooms, check Green Bay first and then work your way out. But yeah, the NFL has a large number of the Green Bay, the county hotel rooms. Yeah, and so you, well, you kind of have representatives out in what are you hoping to hear from them I guess when they get back or what what do you want to hear from them um, that we can do it better right um, that um, that they think it'll fit great for Green Bay um, they're gonna look at the security a bunch of different you know items for the draft um, and maybe they come up come back with some ideas on things that we could do you know f f with that and what about you know, you, obviously you have 
rock garden, you have restaurant here. Yeah. What what do you anticipate or what are you watching so Detroit for to translate to here? Sure. So the NFL, um, at certain areas, they actually booked all banquet space as well. Um, we do have some left here. Um, but we just expect this city to be very exciting. Uh, a lot going on. There will be a ton of... Um, ton of people down by Lambo, but we think it's going to trickle all the way out to Oshkosh and even Milwaukee. Yeah, you said that, so the NFL has booked all of your, the majority of your space already? Uh, no, no. Not here, but at different facilities in the area. We do have one of our ballrooms booked, um, but there is, um, I'm sure everything's going to be booked. We're watching it very closely. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess you talking with um, Rob mm -hmm. of Green Bay Expo, he's like, yeah, I think Monday morning the phone's going to start ringing. Is he, that... He's going to be busy. Well, I think what you'll see um, for the, the hotels that already have rooms set aside for the NFL, their inventory probably won't be out there because it's either used or maybe they're holding it. Um, but for hotels that don't have that inventory, they're going to have their rates set and they probably will be ready to book at that calendar year out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and as far as planning and what, I guess, who and what is going to be here at your facility... What do you expect to learn that stuff, I guess? Yeah, um, so we're contracted through the NFL. Um, you know, they'll let us know who we have, and, and we'll embrace them and, and welcome them in. Um, so I'm not sure when I'll exactly know who we're going to get. Okay, and how, I guess, as soon as they announced that that draft was coming here, you guys were booked in a contract with them, or how long ago? So, so we were contracted. Um, the, uh, the Green Bay Convention and Visitors Bureau, um, along with the Packers and the NFL, they were working on this together for a while. So rooms were held before that. Okay. And then then, we, then once the draft was released that we were going to get it, then they had time to reach out to the hotels, let them know how much they're committing, and then later we'll have rooming lists and everything like that with them. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. When, I mean, close to like a month out, do you expect to... That I don't know yet. No, like... no, that I don't know. Um, like I said, this was a, really a community effort with the Packers, uh, hoteliers, uh, the county board, everyone. Um, so everyone kind of just did everything they could to make the transition work, and um, we have faith that everything's going to work out great. That's so. sort of the waiting game and the, mm -hmm. the fun, right? Yep, I exactly. <laughs> Almost less than a year away. And have you been dealing with, with Rob? Do you anticipate putting tents up to host things here? You don't know? So, so that we don't know yet. Um, did you know it was Rob's birthday yesterday? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you missed him one day. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, we have a lot out here that can be used for stuff. Um, our parking lot is a huge asset. Um, I know there could be a parking issues, you know, in the area. I know they were working on stuff like that as well. Um, so we're going to have a lot of work to do in the next year, figuring everything out. So it's nice and quiet here today, but like a year from now, what do you think it's going to look like out here when the draft comes to Yeah, oh, we're expecting it to be absolutely crazy. Um, we are trying to get as prepared as possible, get as much feedback from other uh, places and people who have had the draft before and be as prepared as we can be. I mean, obviously you see big crowds on game days, but this is going to be amped up. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be like game day times two. Um, we're having more beer, more food, more like what can we do to store more things around the property and be as prepared as again as possible. What are you doing in preparation and how do you know what to do? I guess. Um, well we've already done a little bit of traveling this year with the company and um, have ran into um, some other people who've owned restaurants down in Chicago who have hosted it before and asked them some of their feedback. The owners are currently on their way to Detroit right now to get some feedback, brought a big team with them to kind of go out to other businesses and see what they're all doing um, to see what we can do again to be as prepared. What do you think is, do you have an idea of what you might do? I know um, I'm talking to the that the NFL has not like reserved any of your space, right? They so haven't. Um, they, no one really has. It's all still kind of been like, hush, hush, don't book anything, don't do anything yet, and just kind of see what all comes about. How hard is that, I guess? It's like, crazy. It's just, uh, as the, one of the event managers, too, here, and booking parties, it's hard, and so we just kind of have the dates all saved out, um, and nothing is booked currently. Like, how far out on either end? Um, they're doing the whole week before is all blocked out. Um, leading up to it then. Gotcha. And I talked with um, Rob over at Green Bay Expo. He said maybe you guys are thinking about just maybe doing all tents in the parking lot or something. Is that... That could definitely happen. We've done a lot of different tailgating parties even before my 13 years here where they've hosted stuff out in the parking lot. And he's an amazing guy to work with. And we can throw up tents and 
heaters if we need to and have different places and different things hopefully hosted in different areas since we are so big here too. Yeah, I mean the expansion probably helped yeah, uh, yeah. a lot in the upstairs and everything. Mm -hmm. and how exciting is this? Or is it's it super exciting. It's nerve wracking too to like we don't know what to expect. And again, as one of the main managers here, just being as prepared and making sure my staff is comfortable and safe. Um, they called off school, so I need to make sure my school kids are taken care of and I plan on living here for the whole week basically too. How much, once your team gets back next week, is that when you're really going to dig in? Yes, I believe we'll probably go a little bit more. I think after the draft itself then, too, we'll know a little bit more about what we can potentially do and host here, too. But I did hear it's usually after the Super Bowls when they really, the NFL will leak more about what they want to do and where they want to book things. But that's too far away for us to really think that far, too. Yeah, I mean, is that hard, kind of the... The waiting and the not knowing? And For sure. I Again, I feel so much better that the owners are going. Um, they asked me to go too, but I'm like, okay, I'll hold down the fort, but get as much information and come back. And they couldn't have brought, again, a better team to just try to get some knowledge so we're not coming into it so blindly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's going to be super exciting though. <laughs> no, we're really excited. Is it is it going to be, oh my God, it's going to be crazy. I'm right? actually yeah. super nervous between you and I. <laughs> no, it should be really good. Again, I feel so much better that they're going and if we can just, any type of feedback, like I hear like people will bring in extra food trucks outside and just keep the extra, we're used to having extra bud reefers and um, Miller Lite brings extra, tra all the trailers bring in all the extra supplies and stuff, but actually having food trailers and refrigeration and keeping everything all good and I believe it lands right after Easter and we do our grand Easter buffet, so it's just like keeping everything going that we already have going and um, we have year to year banquets that are normally during that time that won't be able to book with us on Unfortunately, at all, um, they're always like, you know, that third Thursday or fourth, whatever it is. So it's just making it all balanced, but we're excited for it, too. I mean, do you anticipate, like, staying open, though, for the public as opposed to, like, closing down for major sponsors or something? I would like? think so. And because, of again, we have that great event space back here that we can still keep it open to the public in certain spots and then still host some private areas, too. It's, again, with the sky bar up there can be private, and then my large event hall can actually break down to three different rooms. Um, so, again, hosting different things or maybe something in the parking lot that's different. Um, but keeping it, but I would love to make sure that the public can still come here like a normal game day. That's what we're used to. And putting up all the portable bars outside so we can host them outside in inside um, we're used to all types of weather and we're out there you know December and January for all the home games so we'll be ready for April good thank you thank you I appreciate you ladies <laughs>